I've got open here the, the memory data set uh, from statsci.org. Now I'm going to have a look at the Kruskal Wallace test with multiple comparisons. Now probably you could get away with doing an ANOVA to this. There's, there's not that much wrong with the data but I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'm just using this as an example for how to look at the multiple comparison output uh, when there is a difference using the non-parametric tests. So the participants in this experiment were asked to use different techniques to remember words and we're going to look to see if there is a difference in the effectiveness of these techniques. Also in the data set is the age older and younger so if you're keen to go ahead you could try a two-way ANOVA to look at age at the same time uh, but in this case we're just going to look at the process and the words remembered. So if I was going through the process from the start, I would quickly do um, a box plot, look at the number of words recalled over the different tasks. And we can see that um, there's not a whole lot of outliers. There are two outliers here, I'm not too worried about those. What we can see is that the data for three of the tasks is really spread out certainly for these two anyway, and then for these two it's very compact. So that's a case where we might have a difference in the variation between the groups. And we can also see that with the histogram, which I'll bring up quickly. You can see that this is not looking particularly normal, possibly because the sample size isn't big enough. Um, now in reality this probably would be okay to do with an ANOVA. I think you'd still be able to pick up the difference. The danger when you've got differences in variation between the groups is that one of the variation one of the groups that's really spread out can actually swamp the differences between the groups and make it more difficult to detect. So the danger if you've got a difference in variation is that you won't detect an effect if it's there. You won't detect a difference if it's there but I think you will if you did it in this case. However, we're just using this as an example. So I am going to use the non-parametric test and I'm going to test to see if the distributions are the same between the groups and I'm expecting that they won't be because we can see that these two here are actually looking quite different from these three. So if I go to analyze non-parametric independent samples, I'm going to compare the distribution or the shape I'm going to look at the words recalled and the level of processing and run. Now this is different to the baby weight data because we get um, a reject the null hypothesis. So there is a difference in the distribution between the groups. Now we can see what the difference is visually. So I always recommend doing graphs just so you can see what to expect and you're confirming your suspicions with the test. Um, but the graphs really will help you interpret the results. If we double click on this output, we get that nice box plot back. Um, and then what we want to see are the multiple comparisons. It's usually down the bottom here somewhere. Pairwise comparisons. That's the same as multiple comparisons. Um, now we get this output which is conveniently squished up. I don't really know how to um, extend that out. And what it's done is it's tested every pair similar to what we did before. Now someone showed me this in class actually, I hadn't realized it. I feel like this diagram here is not always helpful but you can change the layout of it. Eh, I don't know, I don't know if that helps, maybe. So when you hover over a tie between two, a link between two variable, two categories, you should get the significance so you can see if they're different or not. I have seen some of these where it is that it does help interpreting it, but I'm not overall I'm not convinced of the value of this graph to be honest. Um, so if you look at the pairwise comparisons, you can see is there a difference between counting and rhyming? No. Is there a difference between counting an adjective? Yes. Is there a difference between counting an intentional? Yes, etc. 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 So no difference between Let's look at, actually probably what I want to do is see those multiple comparisons at the same time that I'm looking at that box plot. I've lost my multiple comparisons. There we go. Oh, I've lost the box plot. Okay. So with the histograms instead. So counting and rhyming, counting and rhyming, no difference. So they're the same. Let me pull this out so we can see where it's highlighted. 
counting an adjective. So that's counting an adjective up the top. They are different, which is what we would expect. Counting an intentional, counting an intentional is different. Counting an imagery, so the rest will be different. Then down here we've got adjective and intentional. So that's adjective and intentional, no difference. Um, adjective and imagery, adjective and imagery, no difference. And then the last one, intentional and imagery, intentional and imagery, no difference. So it, the multiple comparisons is confirming what we could see in the box plot, that the, these three are similar and these two are similar. So that was testing the shape. We could also test the mean ranks. Um, if we go back to objective and it says medians here, but because the shapes are different, we would actually interpret it slightly differently. Reject the null. So there is a difference in the uh, mean ranks. Now, as I said, I think you could probably see this with ANOVA in this case, and it might be helpful just to do that plot of the means and confidence intervals. So we can see that those two are different to those three. This is an interesting one because it's a little bit difficult to tell if this one is actually different from these two or not. Now in the um, non-parametric version, it did not find a difference between those. Um, and possibly this is all just due to a lack of data. So there wasn't a huge number of people in each of these groups and maybe that would warrant a bit of further investigation, perhaps with a larger sample size.